Sure. Do you have any update uh, about uh, Putin's visit to India and uh, because uh, now you must have the details about 12 nuclear plants and all that. Well, we, we've certainly seen more of the reporting that has come out this morning. Um, but uh, let, me, let me tell you what I, I have at this, at this point. Uh, of course, we've seen um, the reports uh, regarding Indian, business signing contract, Indian businesses signing contracts with Russian businesses. Uh, we continue to urge all, con all uh, countries not to conduct business as usual with Russia. We continue to monitor it, but we haven't looked at all the specifics of the contracts uh, for obvious reasons. So uh, will it have any effect on uh, President Obama's visit? Will it be postponed, delayed, or will no. it go ahead? No. India remains an important partner. Obviously, our economic relationship is a big part of what uh, we continue to work on. Thanks. You're saying that business has not gone as usual with it? with Russia, other countries with Russia, is that what you're saying? Yes. So are you, are you calling for sanctions or you you want to enforce sanctions? Well, as you know, there are already sanctions in place. I understand, but more sanctions. I mean, other countries... That wasn't what I was calling for. In general, though, given the situation, it shouldn't be business as usual. Have you explicitly spoken to Indians uh, before the trip that it's not the right time to do business with the Russian leadership? Well, we've been engaged in that discussion. I'd remind you, as you know, because you report on this all the time, India uh, doesn't support the actions of Russia and the uh, actions, uh, their intervention into Ukraine. They've been pretty outspoken about that as well. And on the Crimean leader who was part of the delegation, do you have anything else in addition to what you said yesterday? You, uh, you had asked Indians about it. Have they responded to your queries? I, d I don't have anything new to offer on that.